All right, what's up everybody, it's Chad. So we're gonna be taking a test drive in the 2018 Atlas Premium SEL with Adam from Atlanta, Georgia. Adam works for Volkswagen and Adam's a uh, marketing manager slash uh, product specialist. So, you know, I figured while Adam was here today doing the launch party with us, why not hop in the Atlas and get some of his perspective on the vehicle since he does work for Volkswagen Corporate. So let's go ahead and do that and see what this vehicle's all about with Adam today. And uh, as you can see here, it's the black SCL Premium, gorgeous vehicle. Um, from what they were talking about today, and kind of what I want to really kind of drill on is the uh, towing capacity and things like that. Because basically, this vehicle is the competition for the Honda Pilot, the Toyota Highlander, the Ford Explorer, all those somewhat full-size SUVs. I don't think necessarily the Chevrolet Suburbans or the Ford Expeditions and things like that. But again. This is it, the Atlas. Let's get in with Kevin and see what's going on, and uh, and take a ride down the street with Ke or, uh, with Adam and see what it's all about. <laughs> all right, and uh, yeah, I got to put a seatbelt on. I guess that would be a proper thing to do. Yep. Yes, sir. Uh, let's see. Now, Adam, this car here is this one that's from the inventory at the Volkswagen store here or from y'all? Josh. Yeah. Or, I'm sorry, Josh. Yeah. And yeah, this is from straight from Chattanooga. Straight from the plant. Okay, so this car everybody's from Chattanooga, but which, which we can get one for you if you need it. Exactly. Exactly. Alrighty. So what we have here is the 2018 Volkswagen Atlas. This one is the SEL Premium which is the highest trim level, which is also the fully loaded version of the Atlas. So in this one, you have all leather seating. Two front seats are heated and ventilated. This middle row is heated. The steering row is heated. Well, then you're gonna have this huge panoramic sunroof that's in here. Another cool thing about the premium version of the Atlas is the digital cockpit. Now right now it's displaying navigation and you can also bounce back and forth between your main infotainment screen and your digital cockpit and I'll demonstrate mm -hmm. there right now just tap that and you're gonna tap it again and it bounces right back that's cool yeah, it's pretty customizable you can mm -hmm. change different views on it and I'll show you right now right now it's displaying the gears and the speed Drop it down for the eco. Now I'm just going to show you how many miles to empty, what type of fuel economy you're getting, and you can even go to your driver assist system on here. And you can even go back to classic. Okay. So those are different views you can do on the screen. Right. Okay. Now, um, the, uh, the Fender stereo system, how many speakers are in this car? So you're going to have 12 speakers and also subwoofer that's in the trunk. Okay. So great sound you're going to get out of here. I don't know if you want to demonstrate. That's the radio. XM yeah. radio is playing right now. I'm going to turn it up real quick and find that. Well, what size sub is that in the back back there? That. Uh, is that an 8 or a 10? Yeah, I believe it's an 8 that's in there. But we'll have okay. to back check that <laughs> It's cool. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Um, is that one of the subs that's kind of like built into the uh, spare tire well? Yes, that's correct. I think from doing this with some other cars, it was an eight-inch sub. Yeah. Um, this is Fender stereo system, everybody, not not Bose. Right. Which yeah. Is from Panasonic, they're premium. Okay. That's their premium uh, sound system. Cool. Now, um, I was talking with the rep earlier about. Uh, about tone capacity and he was explaining to me that this vehicle does 5,000 pounds now is that 5,000 pounds with the engine that pretty much comes standard in the Atlas or is it just one engine in the Atlas right now for the United States so there are two engines but right now what's available is that 3.6 liter okay and also it comes with the 8-speed automatic transmission and that is the engine that is gonna tow your 5,000 pounds Okay, great. Which would be a small boat, you know, your jet skis, you know, a trailer with cars, mm -hmm. bikes, or 
even a 12 foot trailer so several different things which is pretty much what that average everyday person that's going to tow this is that's what this vehicle is going to tow now will the second engine that Volkswagen has for this come out in America? Yes. yes. Is that on an all-wheel drive model? Uh, it can be, and that would be that four-cylinder turbo 2.0. Uh -huh. And the specs are just a little bit below this V6, so you won't be missing out that much. Okay. Right, because you can get four motion in the V6, of course. Right. Okay, so the other one's just a 2.0 four-cylinder turbo for better fuel economy? Yes, that's correct. Okay, makes sense. So the Atlas rod's really nice. And um, it seems pretty quiet inside the cabin. Yeah, and that's where you get your luxury feel. You got these double pane windows. They have several sound dampeners throughout the vehicle, mm -hmm. you know, which gives you that quiet feel. If you hop into like another vehicle, I'm not gonna say any names, but you yeah. hop into other SUVs, you're gonna hear all types of road noise compared to this one. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah, that, that's that's nice. Um, I'm liking now. It's not. Is it called? Do y'all call it a digital dash or is it? Is there a, uh, this? Yeah. Your digital cockpit. Digital cockpit. Okay. All right. Cool. This is something that you will see very similar in Audi. Uh huh. Which they brought it to Volkswagen now. Right. Because I remember when I worked for Audi, they had this in the A8s and the mm -hmm. different. A4s now. A5s. The A7, I think maybe or. Now. Um, question on your backup camera will it display is there a feature to do it on that screen there no not on that screen It'll still over camera, here yep be mainly on this screen and, all right yeah and I, in this uh -huh. vehicle you're gonna have that area view which is your 360 camera mm -hmm. so you got four cameras come yeah and gives you that area that's pretty sweet it is i always thought if you could have a backup camera right in front that would be easier when you're actually using that camera yeah. But maybe that's in the future for the works. Who knows? Yeah. I, yeah. It, I guess it just depends on how they... Right. Um, you know, they've got some type of signs to wear ass. I guess that's where yeah. it fits for them. Now, how many how many actual uh, USB ports and auxiliaries do you have in the entire vehicle? So, you're going to have four USB ports and one auxiliary. And then, so there's one USB port here. You got one in the middle console. And then two back there along with three prong outlet, okay. plug-in outlet which is uh, 115 volt. That's pretty nice. Okay, so they're definitely hooking it up on that. I'm trying to think what else. Um, yeah, there's there's a lot of cool stuff about this vehicle. I'm loving this massive sunroof that we talked about. Or is, would they call it a panoramic glass sunroof? Yes, that's correct. That's pretty big. Now, it just stops right there at the actual center, correct? Yes. Okay. And now, let me ask a question. Why did Volkswagen not add sunglass holders to the Atlas? That is a question I cannot <laughs> answer. I guess they got other storage compartments. Yeah. Like, you know, you can set your stuff up here. You know, right, okay. Or you got down here, so, you know. Yeah, I've had some just, people on YouTube asking those questions. Yeah. Like, when you're really sitting in a car, do you really need it? You know, it, it's mm -hmm. gonna be, if you grab your shades, it's going to be a lot easier. Yeah, where I'm on now. Right yeah. here than, you know, keeping your eyes off the road. To look right. Up and, you know. So there might be some electronics built into that area there, possibly. I don't think they would just have a plastic thing there with nothing under it. Right. Now, so your headlights on the outside are all LED, is that right? Mm -hmm. um, is that the, uh, are even the high beams LED? On this one, no, you still got the halogen. Okay, so halogen Where? high beams, LED daytime running lights, LED headlights, LED. LED in the rear, LED also for your uh, your tag lights, from what I can tell. Right. Now, what about your fog lights down in the bottom bumper? No, fog lights is just the... Uh, Halogen. Yeah. Now, um, is there any LED lighting on the actual interior of the vehicle? Yeah, you have ambient lighting. Okay. It's going to run along the, around the edges of the, mm -hmm. of the vehicle. And then you even have lights there in the... Under here for your feet at night. Mm -hmm. Okay. But now are these LED up here possibly? Let's see. Yeah, those, are pretty, yeah. those are your regular light bulbs up there. Yeah. Okay. And you can tell you got your blinker LEDs on the right on the blink on the rear view mirrors. Blind spot monitoring system. Yes. Um, adaptive cruise control. Is yeah. that standard on all models? No, it's gonna be S E Tech and up. Okay. And um, with adaptive cruise control, will it Will it handle while you're sitting there in traffic? Will it handle that part for you? Yep, it only cuts off when the vehicle makes a complete stop or unless you pump the brakes. Okay, so if we're cruising on the interstate at 8 
10 miles an hour, it's it'll do the braking for us. Yeah, once, once okay. it's on over, in order to turn on, it has to go over 30 miles an hour. But if you're like cruising in traffic, mm -hmm. it won't cut off until you make a complete stop. Okay, I got you. So to activate it, you got to get over 30 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. Once after that, it's on, it's handling business for us. Mm -hmm. Now, I noticed right now while we're sitting here, the car kind of, the engine, you can feel it cut off. That's to save on fuel consumption while you're at a stoplight? Yes, that's the auto start and stop feature, which you can turn off okay. if you want it. You know, it's a preference thing, but it does save about 6% on the full tank. That's what it states on okay. average. That's so, pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so lots of good stuff there. Um, are you allowed to talk about this versus the competitors? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, Cause that's what I'm, so the, uh, cars that are in this class would be what? Toyota Highlander, mm -hmm. Ford Explorer, yep. Honda Pilot, Honda Pilot, Nissan Armada maybe, or? Uh, it'd be the Pathfinder. The Pathfinder, okay. And um, is, you think it's ranking right there with them or what, what are you thinking? It's definitely there if not above all of them. Cause when you look at those vehicles, you look at this, mm -hmm. or it's technology and the seamless and the simplicity of the vehicle. It's definitely has it beat. And we talked about the, how quiet the cabin is. If you go from this vehicle, those, yeah, it's not going to be as quiet. Okay. So, and it, this has got to be what, the widest Volkswagen they've ever put on the market? Yes. Yep. Their first seven passenger SUV. I mean, look how wide that windshield is there, buddy. It's massive in size. Like, even, that, even that's something to point out. You know, the, mm -hmm. a lot less less blind spots in this vehicle compared to its competitors you know you got a lot more vision which will make it easier to drive definitely yeah this has been great cool and, uh, you got your sd card slots now i'm assuming that's not to put music in the car is it is that uh, possible you, yeah you can and then there's a cd player in there so one of the yeah. sd cards that's in there has pictures so you can actually view pictures uh -huh. well you can't do it right now but you can be mm -hmm. images you know did y'all have some loaded in there yeah yeah mm -hmm. cool we'll check yeah. them out when we get back yeah all right, everybody, we're almost back to the Stokes VW dealership, so I'm going to quit rec recording for just a minute, and uh, when we get back, we're going to take a look at some of the stuff he was talking about that we can't check out while the car's possibly driving. All right, man, so sh I guess show us when we were driving earlier, uh, maybe some of the stuff inside of here. We don't have to get in too detailed, but maybe some things that your average consumer might not know about. Kind of like that, uh, like the SD card slots and, you know, pictures and things like that. Yeah, yeah. Some bro. Neat little feature. So SD cards in there, you can view images on here. So these are preloaded images of the Atlas, mm -hmm. which you can scroll through, or you can do a slide, you know. Oh, that's cool, three car seats in there, yeah. yeah. And this is showing everybody <laughs> yeah. packed in there. Nice. Yep, yeah, that's on our wall in the showroom. Yeah. 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 Pretty yeah. sweet. You know, people were saying when we put that, I did a video about the wall. Oh, really? And people were saying that um, that picture doesn't look like like they really took that picture in front of a house. <laughs> and are those oh, real pictures in front yeah, of houses? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, they like, thought it was photoshopped. Real. No, no, of course they, you know, yeah. did some work to the picture, but yeah. Right, so there it is, folks. All you yeah. trolls out there that are talking junk. That's it. <laughs> That's your yeah, that looks cool. I guess because the picture just doesn't really look all that real, you know? Yeah. You know, they take the picture and then they... Uh, right. You know. Looks good with black wheels on it. Yeah, I like definitely. that. Look at that color. Wow. That's, That's cool. cool. That's neat. Yellow. Is that like at like the SEMA shows and things like that they take them to? Yeah. Yeah, Man. these are. Look at that. Yeah. So this is some of the stuff you can have your Atlas looking like. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Those reels are optional, but they are available. Really? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that color will be available very soon. Now, people are talking about these exhaust pipes, how they're, they're, <laughs> I'm sure you've heard it many a times at all these car stores you're going to. What's your thoughts on that? You know, I mean, I think it's just, it makes it look a little nicer back there. Yeah. Um, the pipes come out right there next to them, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. They're for design, you know. Okay. It's a, de it's a <coughs> design feature. Excuse okay. Me. That yeah. makes sense. And, you know, who wouldn't like chrome tips, you know? Exactly. Yeah. They're kind of flush mounted on the back back there. Um, okay, now when you have these pictures, can you use them for a background and then have the app buttons on top and all that, like on a phone? No. Okay. 
And would it do a slideshow while you're cruising down the road? No, no. Safety, <laughs> no, safety first. So you can only view this, you know. Okay, just like we're doing now. Yep. Okay, so no hacks for any of that kind of stuff or anything. He can't mention it, folks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, that's cool. That's good to know. All right, cool. Any um, anything else you think we should look at? I'm trying yeah, to yeah, think. Definitely this area view camera. So okay. when you're under 10 miles an hour, you can turn it on, you know, if need be. So this is like the few full area view. Mm -hmm. And there's like I mentioned earlier, there's four different sections. So you want to see the backup camera? There it is. Okay. So out of all the car manufacturers that I've seen with this area view this is the more this is the one that's most in depth and even the quality of the camera mm -hmm. is is a big difference compared to other ones like you can even look at some of these Cadillacs that have this mm -hmm. and all right so I got a phone call from the GM want me to film that Porsche Panamera turbo right there and uh, unfortunately uh, when I got a phone with him, I went back to record, and I, just, I guess I just didn't hit the button. So uh, we lost a little bit of footage there, but basically what Josh was talking about was the camera system on the vehicle and just how it's somewhat better than pretty much every other car out there in the market. He says it's better. Uh, of course, you know, he he's probably would be somewhat biased to the camera system on the Atlas, considering that uh, he works for Volkswagen Corporate out of Atlanta. He's a marketing guy with them. But uh, anyways, maybe it is. I'm really just not sure, so I can't make that. Um, as you can see, some footage I just overlaid on here uh, of us unveiling the Atlas in the showroom that evening at the dealership. And, of course, the frame rates are not matching up with the uh, LED lighting. And you're seeing that blink effect going on, which is not happening when you're normally looking at it. So, uh, you know, my final thoughts about the Atlas, I really do like it. I think it's great that Volkswagen brought a full-size SUV to the uh, marketplace here in America. And uh, it's a great vehicle. Again, it comes standard with third row seats. As you can see, the guitarist here, Scott Sane, is going to actually hop in on the inside and check out the third row seats to see how comfortable they are and if there's any room back there. And uh, he seemed to be pretty uh, happy with it after he got out and spoke with me. But uh, yeah, an Atlas, a great vehicle. You know, I got to talk with another uh, rep from there. And uh, this guy supposedly has watched some of my videos in the past, and he says that um, he really wants me to drill in on videos with the Atlas doing stuff with the towing. So anyways, I'm going to try this week to uh, get an Atlas, bring it home, and get one of my neighbors that has a boat since we live up off the Ashley River here in Charleston. And, uh, and let's check it out and see how the towing capacity and all that power works on the atlas when it's in really when we're really having to try it out with towing a boat so if some of y'all think y'all be interested in seeing me do that with a boat or a massive trailer or something like that that's around four to five thousand pounds let me know in the comments send me a comment let me know what you think give me a thumbs up and uh and we'll try to do our best to get the ball rolling have a great day everybody thanks for watching the video subscribe to my youtube channel i mean we got over 20 700 videos and i'm pushing them out hard in 2017 that was a promise i made to myself in 2017 i want to take this channel to another level and build a good uh, subscriber base and get the ball rolling and uh, that's what i'm doing so if y'all could just help out by subscribing you'll definitely be seeing a lot more volkswagen videos and always feel free to uh, send me some comments let me know if there's something you'd like to see filmed during the day or night and uh, some of y'all have and i'm working on doing that so thank you so much we'll see you soon i'm chad dolbier signing out